distinctively Mexican with an American flavor. And a familiar beat. Yes, the polka. Well, the dancing is pretty spectacular because, you know, the polka is a very exciting song. But everybody assumes that the polka perhaps was founded by the Polish people. And in some cases, we get a little argument from the other ethics. The Czechoslovakians and the Germans also may claim that they were the originators of it. However, one thing sure that we can be certain of, that the Polish people have certainly popularized it in the entire world. Hi, I'm Tam Gabby, and welcome to Chicago Passport to the World. What's the answer? The answer is polka. What's the question? What are we going to talk about today? And to help me talk about what the answer is, polka, are three people who are intimately involved with the polka. The Ooh. polka practiced, played, and preserved. And to do that with me are Leon Kozicki, and he is uh, affiliated with the International Polka Association, well, as all of these gentlemen are. Uh, Keith Strass, and uh, this fellow should be no stranger to you if you are a regular viewer of this program. He puts out, well, uh, an esoteric uh, form of uh, polka. And finally, a fellow who is, well, an institution into his own right. A fellow who has been on the polka scene for 37, as he says, going on 38 years. Chet Schaefer, and uh, he spins those records uh, now, currently, on WCEV, and that is CEV for Chicagoland's Ethnic Voice. Well, anyway, welcome. Good to have you all here. And what I do want to say is the, the polka that we heard uh, was, well, by uh, Little Richard. I got the, uh, the courtesy to use that in the film that we did. And uh, the name of the tune is Danny's Polka, and Danny, of course, is uh, none other than Congressman Dan Rastenkowski. Uh What I do want to ask is... Uh, well, maybe first uh, a simple question, maybe uh, without any simple kind of an answer. Uh, and I'm going to direct this first to Chet because he's the senior rep here. Uh, what got you involved in the polka? Uh, little Wally approached me uh, 38 years ago, and uh, he wanted to get on the air. And I says, uh, well, you can get on the air if you want to. You just have to call the radio station and uh, make some arrangements. Oh, he didn't have to buy commercials or anything. He wanted, okay. <laughs> so uh, he uh, uh, looked in a telephone book and he, he saw the radio stations all under W. And uh, then he said, you know what, you better help me out. And uh, so he uh, called some stations, of course, the big stations. He couldn't get the first base, but he did, did call WCRW. And they said that they had a half hour open on Monday from 5.30 to 6. So... Uh, a uh, little Wally asked me if I would go with him, and uh, let's find out what this is all about. And uh, he started a polka show with me uh, 38 years ago. 38 years ago, that's 19, right. that would be 51 then. I guess so. <laughs> Good grief, that's, uh, I was just a, lot, a younger <laughs> guy, a lot younger then. Uh, and the rest has been history then, huh? That's right. He uh, uh, went on, to, uh, we went together for 13 weeks, and then... Uh, uh, I dropped uh, the program, and he continued with it. And then about uh, six months later, I went back on my own. Went back on your own. Okay. Now, let me ask you this question, and anybody can answer this. Why did you get involved with the polka, though? I mean, were there other polka stations on the air at the time? Anybody else spinning polka records? No, no ours was the first polka show, really, oh, in, in, the in the Chicagoland area. That's right. It was the first. Uh, Adam Grzegorzewski would play a polka once in a while on his radio program, but it, it really wasn't a polka show. It really it was wasn't. A, it was a Polish program. Uh, sort of Polish variety, from what right. I can recall right. vaguely, the, my grant. There were no. many Polish programs, but not the, those that were exclusively known as polka programs. In fact, some of them were uh, Zeb Zarnicki, for example, uh, had a program in the Polish barn dance. So there were several different programs, but they were uh, primarily broadcast in the Polish language and uh, had their own studio musicians. And how long ago was that? That, was, that had to be what, That was before. Oh, before yes. you? Sure. Yes, that was before my time. 
Oh, so then uh, polka is, is a form that's been played, or at least uh, heard on broadcast radio, has been around for a while then. Oh, yes. Oh, it has. Uh, okay, now, little Wally uh, went on to bigger and better things. Right. Uh, uh, I guess he made it, uh, as you would say, or I would say, or any of us would say. Uh, who else, uh, you know, back in your uh, you know, kit bag of memories, uh, can you recall? Well, uh, the next one that started up was uh, uh, Chet Glinsky on station WOPA. No. I think he followed me like about five years later. About five years later, okay. And uh, for, for those, oh, I don't think OPA is around anymore. It's, uh, it used to be the Oak Park Arms, uh, the call letters. And it's now WPNA. WPNA for the Polish National Alliance. So right. it does have some form of continuity. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> and then there were a lot of other shows. Johnny Hisney, Leon Kozicki had his own radio show. You remember when <coughs> that was, Leon? I was on the old uh, WOPA from uh, 57 to 67. And then later we switched over with the International Polka Association for five years on WTAQ. And Another, uh, well, that was a LaGrange station. LaGrange, correct. And uh, more recently now, uh, WCEV Chicago Cicero. Uh-huh. And, you, well, I know you haven't done any radio, or maybe I'm wrong. Thirteen years of polka radio I did. You did? Uh, did and this is news to me. No, honestly. Really? Yeah, I started back in 1975 with Little Richard on WONX in Evanston. W O N X. Okay. Fifteen ninety on the AM dial. Okay. Well, did they also used to play those old oldie old uh, radio? I think they all Spanish now, if I'm oh, not okay. mistaken. But from W O N X, I went to W O P A. Then from W O P A, went to W T A Q. And I was, I think, the longest time I was on radio was at W T A Q. Then from there to W V V X. And uh, last. How about Highland Park? Yeah. Last June, I relinquished my time on W C E V. And the gentleman that I did the show with for the past four years still has the program. But it was just got to be too much doing the television show and, you know, working Is that the one where they had the goofy helicopter? Uh, we did a lot of goofy things on that <laughs> show. Uh, yeah, well, I listened to that. <laughs> I used to catch that. Okay. Anyway, what, what this all is telling me uh, is that uh, apparently there is uh, a demand for polka music, at least in the Chicago market. And it would seem that there must be a lot of listeners, you know, because, uh, you know, uh, the nature of broadcast is such that if you know it doesn't appeal, it's not going to last. Uh, is is that true? Well, I think there's an appeal inside of our own, uh, what we would call our people. I think the the appeal has gotten more exposure over the past years with the in induction of the polka being accepted as a uh, for up for a Grammy award. That that's a very recent thing. Whether it was Zoinchik uh, taking the first, uh, well, he, okay. Eddie took the second. And the second, yeah, excuse and me. And he yeah. tied, but. Uh, I think that, that it, it, it opened some doors for us, but I think that we're still pretty, I don't know, maybe you'd agree with me, I think we're still kind of in a, in a closed circle with our own type of people. Yes, it has been exposed to other types of uh, Americans, and not always exposed the way that we would like it to be exposed. There's been some instances that have been on national television that have not like we would like to have it uh, uh, exposed. We are true well, could core. Could you be a more specific what you're talking about? Well, there has been... Uh, well, Chet, Chet, one of the one of the uh, uh, people that Chet promotes on uh, his uh, label, Vasta, the polka queen. She is not Polish, which yeah, Polish yeah. is in as an there's polkas for all types of ethnic uh, groups. But I think that uh, many people viewed her appearance on Johnny Carson as an embarrassment to the polka field. Uh, well, yeah, she doesn't. It's not really polka. It's more she uses it as a it's, vehicle for it's comedy. It's inter international. Well, I don't. I don't know if she does. If she takes it seriously, I don't think it's comical. Well, but it, the routine that she does, you know, uh, it, that's the way I view it. Uh, you know, she's a show show person, and uh, you know, it, with the polka is just convenient in terms of where she wants to go, and she has proved to be quite popular, uh, you know, using polka as a vehicle. Oh, yeah, since the time she appeared on the Johnny Carson show, she's got a bookings in Texas. Uh, she's been on with Jimmy Stir on cable TV in New York. And uh, she's she was on David Letterman. She's yeah, got, she's Letterman. in the uh, Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Uh, the film, the movie, yeah. yeah. Oh, not all of her, uh, her appearances have been, you know, okay. But I think that we're still in a shell and we have to break out of the show. This is the way I view it. I mean, you don't have to agree with what I say, and maybe these two gentlemen don't either. But I think I don't. I really don't know what the what the vehicle is to 
we have to expound and get the polka the recognition that it deserves. Yeah, well, some of that, you know, even some of the people I know, you know, they see the polka as, you know, well, it's not really you know, high class, you know, that it's more for beer drinking and, you know, just stomping around. And I says, you know, hey, you know, it, that, you may see it that way, but I don't think it's that way because, you know, I, I try to dance the polka. Uh, I do fair. And you need energy. You need, you need finesse. Uh, you need to know what the heck you're doing, and uh, it's it is fun in the sense you have to be in good physical condition too. Uh, it's it's not something you take uh, you know, lightly. Uh, you can get injured out there too, yeah. and uh, I just like the enthusiasm you know that uh, you know a, a, a good polka brand, uh, band can bring. Uh, I love it. I really do. Uh, in fact, you know, I just want to say something on Sundays. I knew when it was Sundays in Brighton Park in the summertime. <laughs> You want to know how I knew that? <laughs> I'd be walking down the street, and I could hear the radios would be tuned in. When the cars going by, they would have one or another of the polka programs on. You know, and I, I sort of got into the habit too, just to tune in. As I, I'd be out Sunday in the car, and I, I just crank in, you know, the uh, you know the polka stations, just so I could hear. You know, I don't know, just made me feel good. But yeah. years ago, you could do that by walking down Division Street, and that's prior to the days of air conditioning when the, the doors were open and windows were open and every uh, establishment had a polka band. So all you had to do is walk down the street from Ashland to Western Avenue and listen to polka bands on both sides of the street. Oh, that had to be really something. That that's even was a little bit like Taylor Street is what reminded me of, where you would hear opera and, and you know, Italian music come, diff you know, one side of the street be playing something, one home and another. And it was just nice. It was just an expression of, uh, you know, eth ethnic joy mm -hmm. is, is the way I saw it. Uh, but anyway, you know, going back, uh, you, know, you as a disc jockey, you know, with your own, pr well, I may ask me that's not the right term, uh, but you, you, you do play requests. Right. Do you not? Are there, would you have anything that you would consider as favorite or favorites with, with the audience uh, that listens with you? Well, um, they would mostly request birthdays uh, for birthdays, and they'd like the happy birthday polka. This, this was a favorite. But uh, there were tunes like Circus Polka by Eddie Jima that became requested a lot, Red Lips Polka by Eddie Jima, and uh, in Bamba's time, Bamba Polka, and Steve Adamczyk's time, Good Luck Polka. Oh, and the list goes on and on, and, uh, I, I would guess. Because uh, you know, I can also remember those, you know, sometimes you know, you feel, this is for Aunt Irene and Uncle Wally and Cousin Joe. And, you know, it, it was just sort of neat, you know, hey, people are calling in or dropping a line, whatever it is, and, and you're playing a request. How about you, Leon? Uh, we don't play too many requests. We don't have sufficient time to honor requests. Uh, on uh, special occasions, we will. Uh, but uh, somewhat uh, in the same manner that Chet has mentioned, various periods uh, uh, evoke uh, various responses, the dedications and requests. Uh, uh, from the public, they like certain songs, certain bands. Everybody has their preference. Uh, yes, it's almost like a regional kind of a thing. And you stress, what's what's your experience? I, you know, uh, as of late, there are, you know, I would say that the, a song that well, Chet puts out a every every January, Chet comes out with the top ten albums of the year, and uh, over the most requested or the best selling. I don't remember how it right. exactly goes. Right. But the, you know, uh, Polka Celebration as of late, that song that swept, swept uh, Chicagoland uh, for Eddie Blazoinczyk with the Grammy Awards. Uh, oh Baby Mine, which is a big hit for Lenny Gamolka now. Uh, mm -hmm. Polish Prayer Waltz. By Stash Balan that won the well, IPA okay. uh, Best Single of the Year last year. Right. Yeah, I like that one. I, I, I can recall that. So as, as, as time progresses and as more and more musicians talk about things that maybe are happening in today's society, the people become more tuned to it and they, you know, they like to hear those particular songs. And, and keep, keep in mind that it's not only Chicago locality, that actually polka music is international. It goes, transcends all the state borders. There's polka music from California down to Florida and up to uh, Maine and various styles, various temples, uh, representing various ethnic groups and all of them having their own kind of uh, polka music, Canada, uh, in the certain parts of Europe, South America, Mexico, uh, there are Mexican uh, polka bands. Yep. And uh, another point that uh, we just touched upon was that uh, we have uh, 
made much progress in the last 20 years. There was a time when the, the various news media uh, would not uh, uh, give us the kind of exposure that uh, uh, we were deserving of. In the last uh, several years, we have been able to conquer those barriers. We have received some uh, national television exposure, uh, news media, the major metropolitan newspapers, um, Wall Street Journal, for example, has had a couple of uh, articles uh, about polka music. Uh, other kinds of uh, national and uh, world publications have uh, uh, given attention to polka music. Right. Okay, and what I want to do is pick up on that, and what we're going to do is we're going to have a few words from a financial institution that is in your neighborhood, and when we come back, we're going to take a look at an institution that Leon has, well, all of these fellows have uh, mm -hmm. a direct involvement with, and that's the International Polka Association Hall of Fame. Right after the war, Tallman gave me my first mortgage. Then Margaret and I opened a savings account. And we also got a car loan at Tallman and a college loan for Becky. Well, now I'm retired and they have my CDs. <laughs> yep, it's bigger and a little fancier now, but Tallman is still my old friend. Tallman, a great financial institution dedicated solely to people who work for a living. Well, the uh, purpose of the Polka Music Hall of Fame was to honor outstanding polka personalities who uh, made outstanding contributions on behalf of the advancement and promulgation of polka music. Uh, we have a college of electors of over 100 people who do the voting throughout the United States and Canada. They do this once a year. We have four categories, two personalities that are elected in the living category. Uh, one personality in the deceased category, and just recently we established a pioneer category. So altogether there's four people who are elected by this college of electors each year. Uh, the entire election procedure is conducted by Loyola University under the direction of Professor Paul Grant. Uh, he does the uh, counting of the ballots. Uh, not, none of this is done by any of the administration of the International Polka Association. I might say that our, our building here, the Hall of Fame and the museum, is the only one of its kind in the entire United States, and for that matter, the entire world. It's really right around us are all these different plaques. Can, very briefly, what do they really represent? Well, each plaque, for example, on my right, represents a recipient of the honor of being inducted in the Polka Music Hall of Fame. For example, on my right is the name of Jean Wisniewski, a well-known polka band leader and promoter in the many years of polka music. On my right is Ray Bujulik, the late Ray Bujulik of Cleveland, Ohio. And in back of me, a personality from Chicago, many people remember, Matty Madura. And next to him is Walt Solick from Connecticut. So we have uh, recipients from throughout the United States and Canada. On the other side of the wall there, we have the uh, names of the annual Polka Music Awards, the favorite uh, song, the favorite album, the favorite female vocalist, male vocalist, and female instrumental group of the year. So that is uh, also on display here within the uh, Polka Music Hall of Fame. As you had seen, and I think perhaps you may be showing some uh, photographs later, uh, we have another room here which is dedicated exclusively to the museum. Art We're at the Polka Museum now of the International Polka Association with radio personality and member of the board of directors of the IPA, Chet Schaefer. Good to see you, Chet. Same here, Ron. I'd like to welcome you into our museum over here. Uh, we're on the second floor of the IPA building. This is adjoining the Polka Music Hall of Fame. And if you'd like, we'd start right in with the displays that we have over here. These panels that we have on the different recording bands in the business were prepared by uh, Mr. Alvin Sayeski in 1981. Remember, he had a banquet at the House of the White Eagle. He was retiring after 85 years in the music business. Sure. Sayeski's music store. Right. He, sure. he had these panels made up. And uh, after uh, the banquet, we asked him if he would donate them to our museum, which he gladly did. Oh, I see. These were part of his uh, actual retirement dinner, basically. Was That's right. Oh, and I see. Now they're part of the Pol Polka Museum. Right. Yeah, well, what, is, what is this one all about here? Uh, here's a photograph of the Joe Pat Orchestra when they were performing on the Ron Terry Polka Show, WGN-TV. That's, that's, before your, that's before your time. Thanks, Chase. <laughs> Unfortunately, I remember. <laughs> and Joe Pat made the front 
page of the uh, Polka Guide magazine, one of the early magazines that came out here in the Chicagoland area. And here's two of his albums that he recorded. Of course, Joe recorded many, many albums prior to his decease. Yes, he did. He has more. Than, but uh, uh, Mr. Sajewski just devoted one panel or one frame to uh, each artist. Okay, why don't we take a look at the next uh, frame we have here. Eddie Blazonczyk's Versatones, I'm sure you heard of him. Well, one of the biggest, yeah. <laughs> this guy's a big guy, too, besides that, yeah. He had a, a wonderful uh, three days over at the Sabre Room this past weekend. That was uh, Bel Air Days, right? Bel Air Days. And uh, uh, he t he, I understand he, for the next five years he's going to continue with these polka festivals at the uh, Sabre Room. Uh-huh. Okay, of course, Eddie is known uh, all over the United States. Oh, yes. He travels the country, and uh, he's one of the top polka bands in the nation. Okay, let's take a look at the next panel. Steve Adamczyk, I'm sure you're, uh, he's a native uh, Chicagoan, and he's been around a long, long time, one of the first bands to record on uh, records. Uh, and Steve is still going today, mm -hmm. going strong. So many of our, uh, there must be something about polkas. Well, what is it we're looking at here? Uh, this is uh, the first gramophone uh, made by Columbia uh, when 78 RPM records came out. And this uh, piece is a wonderful prize, uh, one of the best things we have here in the museum. And it was donated by Alvin Sajewski in 1982 when he retired from business. Chet, you know, we had one of these in our family. I wish I knew what happened to it. We've got some other things in here, too. Yes, down below over here, we have the original violin belonging to Joe Lazars, Joe Wazaj. Uh, when jukeboxes first came out uh, and played 78 RPM records, um, the first hit, the Polish polka hit, was Poczka, Poczka, Powiem Mami. I'm sure the old timers remember that one. And that was recorded by Joe Wazaj. And he, incidentally, is in the Polka Music Hall of Fame. Welcome back. And what we just looked at was uh, through the courtesy of Ryan Yashinsky Herbert and Dick Owens, uh, Polonia Today, a program they did a couple of years ago on the International Polka Association and the Hall of Fame out at 41st and, uh, well, actually for near, near 42nd and Kedzie. And uh, the answer is polka. The question is, what are we talking about today? And uh, talking about it today with me are Leon Kozicki. Uh, he's a gentleman who was making a couple of points that we're going to pick up on in this segment. Uh, Keith Strass, uh, he's, well, he's the youngest of the whole bunch here. Uh, we, we just sort of let him come in. Uh, it's out of courtesy. I appreciate uh, that. To youth. Thank uh, you. Who, if you are a regular viewer of this channel, uh, he has his own program called Polka Videos. And if you haven't seen it, tune in. It's, <laughs> you're in for an experience. And Chet Schaefer, a good friend and a gentleman who has been in Polka Radio in Chicago. This is, well, the 38th year. And uh, you just saw him in that little segment, uh, t uh, giving a little bit of a tour to the museum. Uh, let's go back to uh, Leo's points, and we'll get back to the museum. You know, you're talking about the international, the national aspects, first of all, the international aspects of uh, polka. And uh, in that segment we just saw, we, you know, the people that have been on it, and that's only Thank a fraction I, I, I know of the people who are uh, honored by your association. Uh, I, I can think of, you know, we're talking at the break, you know, Wisconsin is, is a pretty big place for polka, although it seems to be a different variety, Minnesota. Uh, what are some of those other states uh, that are strong? Well, you yeah. have uh, uh, Indiana, a neighboring state, Michigan, you have Pennsylvania, you have Ohio, Connecticut, New Jersey, New York, uh, Minnesota, Nebraska. Nebraska? Oh, yes, very much so. Texas? What? Arizona. Oh. Sure. What is that? Uh, people from Chicago moving to those places? Or I, that one really? That's no, through the years they've had uh, uh, polka music there. Some of them that had uh, uh, specialized perhaps more than in other areas. Out in Nebraska you have a strong Czech uh, influence. In other oh, states okay. you have a German influence. And through uh, the efforts of the International Polka Association, we have been able to uh, work at the national level. All of these things have been on and around for years and years, but at a local level, and we've been able to tie things together where the bands travel more. Uh, the uh, recordings, we'd like to say, are more in interstate commerce, uh, and the people have a chance to uh, uh, hear and become familiar with the various styles and the various bands, and they book them, and they come into these other areas and other territories, and we have a, a, a cultural exchange, so to speak. Well, that is. A, I, I would guess some that you know, from the different states, they would add, I guess, their own 
tempo or mood or interpretation. Uh, yeah, I, but, but they accept different things. I just, you had mentioned Wisconsin, yeah. and I had been in Wisconsin this past weekend in the Pulaski Green Bay area. Oh, and okay. uh, in that area, for example, the umpa style is uh, quite uh, prevalent, but not to the extent that it doesn't embrace the Chicago Polish kind of style. As a matter of fact, uh, one of the uh, well, it was uh, Eddie Bozonczyk and Versatones that was the uh, headliner there, plus uh, two local bands, the Morosek Brothers and the uh, uh, Polka Town Sounds. Okay, and how was Eddie Bozonczyk received up there? Very well. Okay, you know, because you know, say, you know, the uh, Chicago brand, the polka, to me, it, it has some real drive, stamina. I mean, it's. Mm -hmm. I, I know when I'm listening to a Chicago polka. I don't. Am I right, wrong, Chet? Uh, oh yes, uh, we have our own style here, but uh, you're talking about drive. The Eastern bands have, have a big drive too. Okay. But the, the tempo is much faster on the East Coast. Than yeah. This. I mean, I, if you were to dance. In Chicago, or if you were to dance in New York, you'd get a heck of a lot tired a heck of a lot sooner in New York than you would in Chicago. And you get thinner shoe, shoe soles. <laughs> <though, right? laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> but even that has changed. Uh, some years ago, there was a marked difference. But because, once again, of this cultural exchange, if you want to call it that, this uh, exchange of ideas and being able to move around the mobility, uh, we have come pretty much to a happy uh, medium where the Chicago Temple actually has increased in recent years, and the Eastern style has uh, slowed down a bit. So I there's think more of a uh, happy medium that um, more people will embrace. So maybe that is true what you say, you know, that exchange is taking place mm -hmm. and it's sort of what, an evening out then? But don't you, don't, technique, don't you feel that more and more bands, where, wherever, where, geographically, wherever they're located, adapt the Chicago style? I think so. so I think. Everybody plays Chicago style music now, where before, you know, even the Oompa bands try to imitate it, mm -hmm. I think. You know. Okay, so then Chicago has to be a major influence. Chicago is the polka capital. It is the no that, question I mean, for about real. It. That's not well, just yeah, no. propaganda, that's for real. Okay. You look, you look over the years of all your bands, where did all your bands come from? Where did they start? Well, I lived in Chicago. I was a Brighton Park kid before I moved all to All your big side. names in the polka field are from Chicago. You'll get arguments from the Slovenians yes. about Cleveland being the polka cap. Ah, yes, and, and at one they have an enormous uh, Well, that's true. Following. And at one time they said New Orleans, Minnesota was, if you recall. Yeah, yeah. that's yes. true. And that was a different style. That was the German style. Okay. But you guys know that Chicago's the polka capital, right? Yes. Yeah. Well, with <laughs> I, mean, I do, too. You know, with Blazoncic winning that Grammy, I would say that has had to had some effect too, you know, in terms of you know, hey, you no, know, there's this guy from Chicago. They open, you know, the first time the category, you know, is is often I mean, bingo. No, and the he, first time Frankie Yankovic won the Grammy. No, yes, oh yes, he did. Oh, no, yes. I missed. Yes. Wait, then I'm. I'm the Grammy is four years. Embarrassing me on national well, television. Well, here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to. Yeah. I'm just trying to correct. No, you. no, no, no. Okay, Grammy's, okay, Grammy's you're right, been you're in, right, the, you're right. in the in the poker Grammy has been in this four years now. Okay, uh, okay. Frankie Yankovic Correct. won the first year. Correct. Eddie Bozoinchik and Jimmy Sturr tied the ah, second year. okay. You're right. And the third and fourth year, matter of fact, it was just a couple weeks ago, yep. Jimmy Sturr won the fourth and the last year. So Jimmy has three, Eddie has one, and Frankie has one. Okay. And I don't agree with it, but that's beside, that's another show. <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> use your show. <laughs> you, you were, Chet, you were to say something? No, I was Oh, <laughs> oh okay. Uh, so anyway, you know, th to me it seems that there is a real, well, not a, a, a lot of polka bands around, and also there are. It seems to be that there are new polka bands coming out to the scene. You know, maybe not necessarily every week, but uh, with with some kind of frequency. Uh, is it, what's that? Is that a function of demand, uh, is, or is that just somebody, or just a bunch of guys saying, "Hey, we like to play play the music." Uh, I don't know if you can. Well, you had you had years when the Grammys first came out, you had people that were in rock bands recording polka albums because they thought that oh, was an minute, easy wait, 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 wait. way for them to win a Grammy. You had a band from California and Texas wait, wait. that was called Punk Polkas. Punk, no, th this is news to me. No, this is this the truth. Is for, for real? Mm -hmm. Band called Rotundi out of California. <laughs> Rotundi. Who played punk music, rock music, and they put it to a polka tempo. Just so they could Just so that I think okay. they could vie for the Grammy. I don't think they were seriously trying to promote polka music. They contend that they are. As a matter of fact, the question has been posed to them. In fact, there are several bands like that from uh, the West Coast primarily 
and they tour the country, and uh, whenever that question is asked of them, they say they're serious, but they have a different uh, following and, uh, of course, a different style. And you also notice there are a few rock bands now that are using the piano accordion as part of the instrumentation. Yeah, yeah there really is. Okay. Now, you know, I, th this is maybe a quantum leap, but sort of a, no, I'm going to go on to another track, you know, but in terms of all these bands and that, uh, do, does everybody who plays polka belong to the International Polka Association? No. Okay. Now, who does? I think that perhaps the uh, uh, major people involved in the polka music industry, band leaders, musicians, uh, DJs, radio broadcasters, news media people, ballroom operators, record manufacturers, uh, I think the the vast majority of the principal ones involved in polka music are uh, members and active in the International Polka Association. Ah, okay, and I hate to have asked that question and laid it open for a lot of things, but what I have to do now, sorry Leon, <laughs> is we're going to take you into some of the neighborhoods of Chicago, where a place that I work for is. That place, Tallman. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll be back after a short message. I never knew how annuities worked. But after buying one through Tallman, I found they work great. Tallman, a great financial institution dedicated solely to people who work for a living. Paying service fees on a savings account always seemed dumb to me. So I'm glad I found someone who agrees. Tallman, a great financial institution dedicated solely to people who work for a living. Welcome back, and the answer still is polka, and what are we talking about? Polka. Is that where we are? Yeah, we sure are. <laughs> anyway, my guests are... <laughs> they all fell asleep. <laughs> anyway, uh, with me today are Leon Kozicki, uh, International Polka Association and the Hall of Fame, uh, Keith Strass, and uh, well, we're going to have a few more words to say about this fellow in a minute. Uh, he's a regular here on... Uh, the ethnic television channel with a thing called Polka Videos. And, of course, Chet Schaefer. Uh, for those of you who haven't uh, seen him before but have heard that voice for 38 years, here he is, Chet Schaefer, currently with WCEV. He has been, uh, well, you're, you're a landmark and an institution and uh, uh, all kinds of things. And uh, what we're talking about, what Leo raised, uh, Leon raised uh, just before we went on that break, uh, were some points with regard to the International Polka Association. But before we get back to that, what I want to do is uh, show you a little bit then of, uh, well, what this fellow Keith Strass does. And what it is, it's a uh, video clip uh, put together of a number of his shows. And I'll tell you something. Uh, no, I'll bring up my name and address at the end of this show. If you can tell me what, what it is that he does, uh, I'll figure out something that I can send you in the mail. Let's take a look at Keith Strauss. Tom, it's simply polka magic. It's, it's simply polka magic. And well, besides that, he was also nominated for an Emmy last year. Let's take a look. <laughs>
I don't believe it. <laughs> I still don't know what he does. <laughs> don't feel bad, neither do I. <laughs> uh, uh, it, uh, folks, uh, that isn't an entire program, although it's close to it. No, <laughs> what it is, it's uh, clips, pieces from a number of pro uh, programs. And uh, <laughs> uh, before we get back to you, Leo, why do you do that stuff? It's it's weird. Why do I do it? <laughs> yeah. That's why. Well. I'll tell you what, Tom. You know, if you if you go attend a poker fair now, uh, I would say maybe sixty, maybe sixty percent of the people there are maybe up in their fifties, sixties, or seventies. Oh my God! That's, okay, that's good somewhere there. in your that's, age bracket. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. And I think that we have to entice people in my age bracket and younger into poker music. That's why I do what I do. Okay. That's why I combine comedy and nonsense with poker music, and okay. hopefully we'll get some younger people involved in it. Okay. Well, what I really should say, you know, in fairness to you, Keith, you know, I know we kid around a lot, and sure. sometimes, you know, the kidding around here, uh, you, you do whatever you do, you do with a serious intent, and, and you know, you and you it's use hard. comedy. It's, it's uh, hard. Doing I mean, people may not see that there, but you know what you're doing. It's professional. I've, I've gotten a lot of criticism, you know, of well, the things that I've done, and the people that I've gotten the criticism from are the people that are in that age bracket, and I play to everybody, but I play mainly towards a younger younger crowd to get them enticed and involved in poker music. Okay. And I think this unique combination that we came up with, I think it, it, it has helped. Yeah. Well, you know, I, I would say it's also, you know, whether it's poker or anything else, you know, that, you know, the survival of a group, you know, it depends on new people coming along, coming in. And uh, sometimes the things that, you know, you need to do, you know, you, you know the people that are there for a while, they, they might tend to resist it. And, and it's hard to break in to anything, not only, you know, the yeah. poker field, but it's hard to break into something like this. Uh, that's when, for sure. When you have, you know, there's Chet is, Chet is a nice guy. He'll help you bend over backwards for you. So is Leo. But there's some people out there that think you're stepping on their turf and they don't want any part of you, you know. So it's hard to break into it. Well, no, I, it no, really I understand is. that. Uh, but it's uh, like anything, though, I think. Uh, well, I'll tell you what, let, let's give a plug for your show. Uh, if, if you saw that and you liked it or liked any part of it or you didn't like it. If you it, liked right? it, you're sick. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 when can it get? It's on Saturday. It's on Saturday at 3.30 in the afternoon, 3.30 to 4. And I'm, then... Okay, uh, this channel, same channel. Right, 25. And then on Wednesday, oddly enough, the folks at Group W said it would fit in great with the teenage hour. Oh, so oh it's really? So from 4.30 to 5 on Wednesday afternoons. Oh, well, that's a good slot. Exactly. That really is. Uh, exactly. Okay, so folks, uh, tune in. Get a chance. Uh, polka videos with Keith Strass. Uh, let's go back to Leo here. Uh, you know, you're talking about the universality and membership and all that kind of a thing. Uh, virtually, when, when you recited that before we went on this break, uh, virtually everybody that has any kind of an association with producing polka, it sounded like, uh, is, is a part of your membership part of the membership, but I also had uh, neglected to mention perhaps the largest segment, which is the polka fan, the ah, polka public. Where would you be if you didn't have the fan? That is correct. And uh, so I would guess that you must have some kind of a communication that you, like a magazine or a newsletter or something? We have a newsletter uh, that is published each month, and there are other, other polka publications that uh, are available to the public where they are keep informed, uh, kept informed about the various polka events and uh, personalities and the latest happenings in uh, polka music. Oh, okay, so then it's actually it's, it's a membership organization then, uh, yes. it sounds like. And, uh, you know, it lets, I, could I join? Yes, you could. Uh, you if, let's you, if you like and enjoy polka music, why not? We that's all you need. That's all you need. And ten dollars. And, and your money. <laughs> that heavy wallet that you had mentioned a little while ago. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, you know, this I think is a, a good cue to, uh, uh, well, I'll tell you what, I have never mentioned these guys on the air. There are two guys back there that are really great and help this program. Uh, they are Frank Chambers and uh, <laughs> Andy Sikora, uh, who does another program here called Telegraph. And, uh, uh we have, well, I'll, I'll mention the cameraman a little bit later. Uh, they're pretty good guys, and it's one of them is waving. But i uh, tell you what, let's, let's bring up a board for the International Polka Association. Uh, anybody out there watching, uh, you know, if you have an interest, and there it is. Uh, tell you what, Leon, help me here. It's the International Polka Association. Hall of and, Fame. And okay. 4145? Yes, South, South Kedzie Avenue, Chicago, 60632. And... Uh, 
give a, you can all, they can also call you, 254-7771. And uh, you mentioned, what, $10? Is that the I think it was $12.50. Oh, 12, oh <laughs> those are the old dues, dues Keith. But uh, did you, you discount for senior citizens? Oh, and of course. You uh, get a discount already? No, you're going to. <laughs> 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 okay. So, okay, membership then you know, gets you a newsletter. Uh, if you're a senior, uh, wh what do you define as a senior? Uh, over age 60. Over age, I'm, well, I'm, mm. I'm getting there. Okay, over age 60. Okay. And uh, you get a discount on membership. You get a newsletter, a monthly newsletter. Yes. And uh, what else did, uh, would I get? Well, we have monthly meetings, and after mm -hmm. each meeting, we have uh, refreshments. Uh -huh. And uh, Irene Patetic is on the committee, and the uh, last meeting we had, we had uh, your choice of uh, uh, chili or... Uh, Chili. Barley soup. Uh -huh. Aha. <laughs> and it was good okay. barley soup. And from time to time after the meetings, there's an orchestra that performs there. So you can dance and there's refreshments. Right available. there. Right at the Hall of Fame building, yeah. Ah, okay. Yes, we have our own hall. We present uh, our own uh, functions, polka functions, from periodically. As a matter of fact, uh, January is National Polka Month. You probably weren't aware of that. So uh, during the entire month of January, we had uh, dances taking place at the IPA building as well as our uh, special winter festival, which uh, took place at the Glendora House in uh, uh, Chicago Ridge. Ah, okay, Leon, can you hold on one second? I want to talk about uh, that a little bit more, but first, you know, what I have to do is I have to, we have to pay for the program. Uh, even though I work for them, they're still pretty good people. Tallman, in your neighborhood. Most places you can't open a money market account with a thousand dollars, but then Tallman isn't like most places. Tallman, a great financial institution dedicated solely to people who work for a living. At Tallman, I opened my savings account with just a hundred dollars, but they still made me feel like a million. Tallman, a great financial institution dedicated solely to people who work for a living. Well, the answer still is polka. The question is, what are we talking about today? And uh, talking about it today are uh, Leon Kozicki, uh, <laughs> Steady Eddie is what I call him, Keith Strass, and we finally uh, had uh, somewhat of an opportunity to find out what he does. And uh, a fellow we don't have to ask what he does, a fellow that's been on the polka music uh, radio scene for, well, this will be the 38th year, right. uh, Chet Schaefer uh, on WCEV. Uh, anyway, you were talking about uh, you know some of the events and things you know, and we did miss January as, as uh, International Polka Month, and you were talking about some other functions and events and, and that kind of a thing. Tell me more. What else? Well, we have other functions. In fact, we uh, just uh, recently had a polka fifties dance, uh, which uh, combined the polka music with the uh, DJ uh, playing the. Uh, popular music uh, during the 50s and the people came out dressed in their high school sweaters and uh, oh, really? the attire of the, uh, that time. What a hula hoop contest. Yes. Limbo, <laughs> limbo <laughs> contest too, right? And, and wait, hula hoop and limbo? Right. Whoa, were you in that? No. No, you weren't. We have a polka right. pizza party and... Uh, uh, polka pizza, okay, yes, that brings yes. the Italians in. Okay. We have all sorts of things that uh, have a theme attached to uh, uh, the polka music bit, you know, anything to sell the product. April and 23rd, Sunday, we're going to have a, a polka concert at the Polish Museum of America. One o'clock in the afternoon, it starts with a remote radio broadcast with yours truly, and Ron Herbert uh, is going to be a, a co-host on the program, music by um, Grammy-nominated uh, uh, Stash Blanda and the Average Polka Band, guest appearance of Jenny O, some comedians, and uh, appearance of the Kakoviak PRCUA dancers. Oh, that, that's a pretty big program. That Admission like a free. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, wait, uh, Zadarmo, Zadarmo. Okay, hold on here. Everybody just woke up here for free, folks. Sunday, April 23rd, is that the date? Right. Polish Museum. Right. That's 984 North Milwaukee. Right. And what was the time? One o'clock. One o'clock. Starting with the radio show. Starting with it, so you'll be on the air live right. from there with uh, that other fellow that's on the station, uh, Ron Yashinsky Herbert. Right. And uh, how long will you be on the air? Uh, for an hour. For an hour. One and to two then. But we'll stay on till five o'clock. Uh, 
Oh, really? Right. And the IPA is going to participate. The International Polka Association is going to have an exhibit of some of their Hall of Fame plaques and memorabilia. And memorabilia. Some, could it be some of the stuff that we might have seen in that video clip? Uh, right. Yes. In the program? Oh! Mm -hmm. So, and, uh, and, and the, the, it's still, it's for free. For free. This is incredible. I, do you have to pay to get out? Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm kidding you. Uh, no, that, that, folks, uh, I'm going to try to be there. I asked the guy to him. Uh, that sounds like it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, again, polka. Uh, you're going to have the Krakowia. Uh, Krakowia dancers from the Polish Roman Catholic Union will perform. And uh, that, that's a pretty, fu a pretty full program. Yeah. Uh, and will there be refreshments? Uh, 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 we, do we haven't uh, discussed that yet with them. But uh, nothing was said about refreshments so far. Okay. And who again is sponsoring this? Uh, the Polish Museum of America with the participation of the International Polka Association. Oh, okay. That's nice. Uh, no, that, I, I like those kinds of things where you know, different groups within a community come together. The Polish and Museum would like to get some of those outsiders, the polka fans, to come to their museum. And then at the same time, Maybe we can attract uh, some of the people that come to the Polish Museum, Northsiders, to come to our museum. Ah, excellent. So I'll tell you what, as an old uh, Brighton Parker and an old Chicago Lawn, Gage Park, uh, and for those folks out in Ashburn and Wrightwood and, and, and Clearing and Chicago Ridge and wherever the heck it is, come on out. It's a nice afternoon. And it's right off the expressway, too. Right. Easy on, easy off. Okay. <laughs> Shall I go to work for you guys? <laughs> Anyway, uh, Le Leon and you, uh, are, do you have an involvement with this thing too? No, no. You don't? Oh, so then it probably will win then. It'll be a successful yeah, one. <laughs> if I had involvement, you'd have to pay to get it. <laughs> I don't do anything for free okay. these days anymore. Tom, I uh, yeah. also mentioned that uh, one of the foremost poker events of the year is going to be taking place uh, August 3rd, 4th, 5th, and 6th ah. at the Ramada O'Hare uh, hotel. Okay. And this year we have extended it in the past years, the past 20 what? years. No, okay. okay. I'll, I'll, I'll hold up a little flyer. I don't know how this will zero come up, in. But, uh, th this is a real biggie. This, uh, this much I do know because they're folks that come from all over the United States and Canada. Right? That is correct. And uh, it's a three-day... Uh, no, it's a four-day. We have added a additional day this year. On Thursday, the festivities will start. So there'll be music on So Thursday. the second? Of August. Third. Third. Or the third. Third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. Oh, okay. Okay. Sixteen bands. Yeah, and you have Eddie Blazonchik and the Versatones, Jimmy White Weber, and the oh, good downtown squad. Oh, it goes on and on here. Uh, well, there's even a band appearing this year from Florida. From Florida. They're making that trail probably, probably be hard. Let's hope it's cooler up here than it is. You know, uh, the thing I understand is that you guys, you, you go until the wee hours of the morning every day or every night. This would be a good spot for you. A, a good spot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, and, uh, well, okay, let me ask you this. Oh, how about admission? Uh, is there an admission fee or oh, a yes. charge there, for this? There, there, there is a donation uh, uh, for this event, and I don't have the amount before me, but I think it's on your flyer. Oh, it's on the flyer. So it's let me around $8. Yeah. Uh, it's the, the, the it's not on there. The unofficial authority says, no, it's not on here. It's about eight thousand. Yeah, it's approximately eight thousand. But where can you hear sixteen bands for eight dollars? Uh, and start at, at five in the afternoon and not end till two in the morning. Then they have night owl jam sessions that go to five in the morning. Pool night? parties with bands and. Oh my gosh! It's, there's no nothing else. Nothing else like it. And then on Saturday at twelve noon we have the. Uh, uh, luncheon and the induction of the Polka Music Hall of Fame inductees as well as the uh, uh, presentation of the annual Polka Music Awards that takes place from approximately 12 noon to 3 o'clock. Uh, while there's a pool party going on in the afternoon, then the evening uh, segment of the polka dancing taking place in the ballroom. And uh, I also neglected to mention earlier, starting at 4 o'clock in the afternoon, we have the uh, a Catholic Mass that is celebrated as a convenience for uh, many of the people from out of town who would not be familiar with the immediate area and oh, makes okay. it convenient for everybody to uh, be able to fulfill their uh, religious obligation. Okay. And it's a polka mass too, though. You didn't yes, mention it's a right. polka mass. Okay. Uh, a polka mass. Polka now, mass. That, that I think has become somewhat of a trademark with you folks. Uh, the matter of the, uh, I think you had something to do uh, with Joe the Pat's introduction. Band. Yeah, Joe Pat. I was trying. Thanks. Mm -hmm. 
you know, you saved me again, Keith. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what for you. So I, uh, but no, you know, uh, it, Chet, Chet has been involved with the polka yeah. mass also. Chet sings oh, in the um, choir. Um, the father, Wally Stapu, our chaplain, was after Joe and myself to come up with a polka mass, uh, oh, from the very beginning, and uh, so we did. We did. And others and have copied it throughout the country. Okay, now, I've never been to a polka mass, you know, I've been to you know, uh, other uh, masses where there have been various forms of music instrumentation. Uh, what, what, if I were to walk in and sit down my first time in, what would I hear? What would I... Well, you, you, you'll hear some familiar polka melodies, uh, Polish melodies, Slovak, and, uh, but there'll be liturgical words to them. Oh, okay. And the music is provided by a polka band. It is. And uh, that, that, that sounds awfully neat. That, that really does. Now, can I ask another question? No, on uh, moving off the mass for a moment, but back to the festival. How many people come to this thing? I know it's a lot of people. Oh, you're talking in terms of several thousand people, and actually it fluctuates from year to year depending on uh, the various occasions. This past year we were celebrating our 20th anniversary, so also. that helped induce a lot of people to come out to celebrate that occasion. Holy smoke, and uh, they, they come from all over the country. Just And there's a lot of young people that are coming around more and more to these festivals. Okay, well the thing is, you know, that, you know if anybody out there has an inclination, particularly you know, young or old, the old timers would know, like me, but you know, young people, you better be in shape, you better have the stamina, you better have good <laughs> lungs, uh, you better have strong legs, and uh, you'll be able to do it. Not and necessarily, though, Tom. You know, you have two phases of the polka music, or two elements. The one that uh, likes to dance, and the other that just likes to listen. So there's a lot of people who don't dance, but they like to listen. They enjoy listening to Take polka Leon, music. Take Leon, for example. Does he look like he That's dances right. a lot? Oh, I bet he does. <laughs> oh, he does. He does a real good job. <laughs> oh, God bless him. Polish there. Polish Fred is there. Pol <laughs> Polish Fred is there. Well, I'll tell you what. Uh, th this is the Polish Tom Gabby. And what we're going to do is we're going to have a word from Tallman. Uh, stay tuned, and we'll be right back. You can look all over town for a great rate on a CD, but I just called 776-4300. Tallman, a great financial institution dedicated solely to people who work for a living. I've always been good at putting money away, but now, thanks to a Tallman counselor, I'm putting my money to work. Tallman, a great financial institution dedicated solely to people who work for a living. Welcome back, and uh, I want to thank you for staying uh, with us today and staying tuned in. Uh, I think we've had some fun, and I hope you have too. Uh, what I want to say is uh, thank you to Lillian uh, Janus, or Janus. Uh, she, well, I won't give her address, but she does live in Brighton Park, and she just says, what a nice show, what a nice surprise. And Lillian, thanks for tuning in. Stay tuned. We have some really good programs coming up. Uh, if you want to write to me, if you want to drop me a card or a letter, let me know how the show is doing, what you think of it, or what you think of these guys that are on today. Uh, just drop me a line. Tam Gabby, Tallman, 30 West Monroe, Chicago, 60603. Phone, 726-8915. So, you know, I'd like to hear from you. Uh, another thing that we have going currently, the Tallman Classical Music Scholarship. Uh, it's available for graduating high school seniors. It's, uh, well, $10,000. Uh, if you're interested, well, you can drop me a card or a letter, too, and I'll get uh, the application and the rules into the mail for you. And uh, with the minute or two that's left to us today, uh, I just have one question uh, that I'd like to ask of you and uh, get an answer from each of you. Uh, what's the future of polka? Uh, good, strong, indifferent? Well, Keith is uh, uh, trying with his program to get the uh, younger people involved. The older people are definitely involved, and uh, this is something that's going to stay with them all the time. Uh, uh, polka music never dies. Uh, records that uh, came out uh, 30 years ago are still selling today. Uh, take the beer barrel polka. Uh, yeah, it's okay. a standard hit. I, you can buy it. The original version is, is still by Will Glide. He's still available. Oh, I did I didn't know. That, that's another good piece of trivia for me to know about. Okay, beer barrel polka is still selling well. Keith, what do you think? I think it'll continue and it'll become stronger and stronger and I think that we'll finally break that barrier where we will become nationally recognized and given the respect that we so long 
so long as it's overdue towards the polka field and polka music. Oh. And, so and I'm going to be a part of it, too. Uh, well, well that, that's a pretty positive way to look at it. And here's a fellow that, uh, well, you're, you're, you're batting. You're at bat, you're batting cleanup. Leon. I think that uh, most of us are working in that direction to uh, induce and uh, indoctrinate the youth and to have a uh, youth movement uh, uh, attracted to polka music, and there's every evidence of that in recent years, and I think it will uh, continue in the future. It will. And with that, I want to say thanks for tuning in. Tim Chasson, Dovizinha, see you next week. Thanks a lot. TC, Ethnic Television Chicago. Cable, bringing you the world in a wire. You're tuned to WCW TV Channel 25. What Chicago Watches. Chef Richard, and today I have my best friend in ETC. <laughs> it's not you, Ron, but him. He keeps Here that, Ron. Owens, the rest of them, right? Yeah. Chef, yeah, pleasure best. to be back with yeah, you again. Best. I'm glad Sharon took a vacation. I'm looking forward to this. Okay, today I'm going to make you half an hour. What did you call me, though? What's my name? Well. Say it again. Because I'll tell you what, <laughs> if you say Strauss, you see this? If you watch my show at 3.30 here on ETC, I often... Hit people with pies. Okay. So remember, it's Strauss, not Strauss. You're gonna believe it. Okay. Gonna remember. So meantime, I'm still gonna teach you how to become gourmet in half an hour. A gourmet in a half hour. Yes. I'm looking forward to that. But first, you have to be Polish gourmet. Polish. <laughs> really, because you know this zrazy or beef rouladen uh -huh. is one of the most elegant dishes in Polish culinary. Okay. If you say so, so I'll go by because I know you work at Maravas and. That's a fine Polish restaurant. You better believe it. Okay. Okay. So what do we have? We're gonna start with ground veal. Ground veal. And also we're gonna chop and saute mushrooms. So let me do this. Okay. So we're gonna chop it up nice. Put it in the pan. Okay. We're gonna saute a little bit. Now, what do you saute that in? Butter. A little bit of butter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I have melted on another pot. Okay. Do this a little bit more. And those are just regular, regular mushrooms. mushrooms. Yes, I have also uh, nice dry Polish mushrooms, which you can add to. Don't look at me when you chop. You better no, watch no, what I, you're. You don't need to watch. Actually, actually, I have to look on you right now because you have the pie. <laughs> <laughs> but okay. it's way over there. Don't worry about okay. it. Okay. If it gets a little closer, then you got to worry about okay. it. Okay. And we're gonna put some onion. So very easy. Enough. Now you're gonna saute the onions and the mushroom together. Exactly, you got it. See, I'm leave, I'm a fast learner. You better believe it. Okay, some 
mushrooms that are dry already. So, so now, what do you have to do to get the mushrooms like this? Well, you have to go and buy it. I know. You, you <laughs> made a profound statement last week on that telethon, too, but I mean, what do you, what do you uh, marinate the mushrooms? No, these are not marinate. These are dry mushrooms. Okay? okay. And before you can use dry mushrooms, you have to put them in the water, warm water, and keep. That's all it is, is water. That's it. Okay. Okay. So let me put a couple more. And we're going to put a little bit of water, just a small amount. That's it. Okay. Okay. Need this anymore? No, no, just put okay. it. Okay. Now we have ground veal. What happened? We have to. This ground veal. Doesn't have to be so lean. Okay. Not bad for this, okay. 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 And we're gonna put sauté vegetables to the ground veal, and then stuff. Stuff. This is a, this is a top round. Top round. Okay. Okay. So we'll have two of them. One for you. One for me. How's that? That's perfect. I don't see anybody else here, do you? No. Okay. No, I see, I see Ron. Can you see Ron? Yeah. Is he standing up or sitting down? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not Ron. That's his brother, Ignaz. Ignaz? Oh, Ignaz? Wor yeah, he works the camera here. Well, I didn't know that. Yeah. It's an okay. inside joke. Ignaz was on my show one time, uh -huh. around Christmas time. Okay. <laughs> now, what do you want to do? You want to trim the you fat away? Why don't you? You want me to do it? You got a knife handy? You got it. All right. <laughs> it would be nice if it was sharp. Well, I don't want to... You can't have everything, right? No, I don't want to be sharp because you cut yourself. Not me. Oh, yeah? No, I'm good with a okay. knife. Next segment, you're going to see how you're going to cut it. <laughs> How's that? Now, what did you say this was? Top round? Top round. You can use any kind of meat, but uh, this is uh, for you as a bachelor. Uh, you don't want to spend a lot of time... How did you know I'm a bachelor? Are you? Well, yeah, I am, but how did you oh. know that? Okay. I That's see good. You, a lot of dates in the restaurant, yeah. so... <laughs> I can assume you're a bachelor. It's a good thing this show doesn't go where it doesn't supposed to go. <laughs> okay, gentlemen. Uh, now is the onions and mushrooms are sauté. Okay. We put to the bowl, and we're gonna start mixing. It smells so this good. This is the spoon. All right. You want me to mix that in? Yes. I'm gonna put pepper. And salt. You still mixing, huh? Okay, all right. I want to give you a shot, a chance to get in there. Okay. He's getting better. I got the wrist action going for me. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm not as good as Sharon. Well, she's got a lot of practice, you know. So. Yeah, I know. Well, you know, that's where the woman's place is in the kitchen. You better worry. Right. About. <laughs> it's a good thing she's not here, otherwise she throws <laughs> something at me. Okay, I think so. You have enough. I'm gonna use my hands right now to mix better. So all the meat and mushrooms sure. get together. Get it nice. together, right? Okay. Okay, it looks like. like it. Okay, so now what we're gonna do? We we'll put it in the center. How much do you put in there? Well, you use you use your own judgment. This is getting too hot. Uh, so you put like this. Uh oh, man, you don't do a good job. Seems I didn't see hard. that. Okay. Buy leaner meat next time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what you do right now, you're trying to cover the holes, on the side holes, okay? Okay. So, so you go like this. You have this cover. Now, do you use toothpicks to keep this? No, 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 no. I'm going to show you the technique. You don't have to use toothpicks, okay? Okay. Okay, nice. It looks like a big gawumki. That's it. Huh? That's it. Let's get this one too. A little bit fat. Okay, this is your, for you. After today's show, you can apply as a chef to any restaurant. Okay, I think McDonald's will be calling me later. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now why don't you start? You want me to roll this, huh? That's it. No, 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 no. You, you don't have to roll this one, right? You oh, just like that? Make sure there's no holes. Oh, man. What are you giving me all the rough jobs for? Well, this is the, this is the job of the guest. <laughs> I didn't plan on getting my hands dirty today. Well, <laughs> okay, show me how It's well, not it's too bad. Almost, almost, almost good. all right. But you see what happens. You can, you have like this situation, you just. But how does it stay like that now when you when you cook it? Okay, I'm gonna show you everything. Just all right. be patient. I don't want to jump the gun here. Okay, just a little bit better. And now we have flour. Oh, I see. Now. Wow. Oh. <laughs> okay. Silly of me to ask. 
Okay, see what happened is now. Yeah, well now when you put the flour, it stays it better. Flour, sure. And you put, see this is the part? Mm -hmm. Get together. You put force on the bottom. Okay, I got it okay. now. Now we're going to do the second part. The my, I wonder which one is going to stay better. I, I bet you it will. Okay. We're going to saute. And we're going to put it over for 20 minutes. In the oven for 20 minutes. Yes. Okay. And when we come back, we'll start making a sauce. Sauce. Okay, good. Okay. So join us when we come back, right? Mm -hmm. Is that how she says it? That's it. Okay. Since 1880, the Polish National Alliance has united, informed, and served Polish Americans. In PNA lodges across the nation, Polish Americans celebrate their heritage, honor age-old customs, and promote the interests of our community. Through its publication, the Zgoda, its encouragement of the Polish language and Polonia Press, dissemination of factual material about Poland and Poles, it also provides important information and educational services. Embracing more Polish Americans of varied backgrounds and interests than any other organization in America, the Polish National Alliance is in the forefront of a continuing effort to preserve Polish culture and spread the glory of Polish history and heritage. The Polish National Alliance offers fraternal insurance and it offers more, much, much more. The Polish National Alliance, now in its second century of service to Polonia. All right, welcome back to Cooking with Chef Richard, and uh, how are we doing over there? Oh, that looks good, smells good. Mm -hmm. yeah. So what we're going to do right now, we're going to put it in the oven for 20 minutes. 20 minutes. And that's it. Okay. Now we're going to make a roux. Roux. Got to have the roux. So, so, hey, you pull out of my flowers. Give me, give me the I pull out your flowers? Okay. What kind of flowers did you have? Okay. Flowers. Oh, okay. flowers. Oh, okay. Is this enriched mm. flour? Yes, it is. Okay, go ahead. What is your pie? What is your pie? My pie's right over here. It's <laughs> waiting, pal. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> I think so. I'm gonna get it today. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. Okay. So what happened? We're gonna make a sauce. Okay, but before you make sauce, you have to make roux. Roux. I know what roux is. Butter and flour. You got it. Huh? Okay. So I watch your show every chance I can. Okay. I haven't had a chance in a while, but what? go ahead. <laughs> okay. So let me first melt the butter. Using a whole stick now. Yeah, huh? this is a quarter of a pound. And then you have also, usually in roux you do is a uh, roll of thumb, you use semolent butter as a flour. It's a quarter of a pound of flour, quarter of a pound of, uh, of butter. Okay. Or you can use margarine if you want to. Okay. So let me melt this. Okay. And one little bit. Color with it, we go along color. And we're gonna add it remaining of mushrooms with the juice. With the juice, the whole oh, banana goes course, in. Of okay. course. So let us a little bit longer, just a little bit longer. Now we're getting nice gold color. Here we go. We're gonna pull over. Let's put the rest of the mushrooms. Are your hands clean? But of course. Okay. <laughs> Are your hands clean? But of course. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what happened right now? We're making nice sauce. Okay, okay fine. So let's put this on <clears throat> low. Low flame. Low flame, and that's it. Next thing, now I'm going to show you how to become gourmet. Yes. And you can impress your date. Okay. Okay. We're going to make today shrimps. And we have a little bit smaller too. Well, full of big one, nice okay. one. We're gonna wrap up the bacon. Sounds we're good. Gonna saute. Okay. And it looks good, tastes good, and you're gonna make it in ten minutes. Okay. So let's start. So we we gotta devein these, right? That's it. Okay. Yeah, that's and a rough one. Here. I'm gonna show you the. Make sure. You and take it's the important waistline. to take the waistline out because you could get sick. You better believe it. it Looks like he was watching my show before. No, I got sick once before, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> Not on my show. No, no, no. Okay, so. Okay. Hey, you did a good, good, good job. I might hire you. You might hire me? Yeah. This guy had a lot of waste. <laughs> 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 okay, the salt is getting thicker. Nice. 
Okay, and we're gonna a little bit garlic flavor to the to the shrimps. Okay, so let's Okay, what do you you didn't take this off. You leave that on? No, no, you have to leave like a little bit more. Okay, just a little bit more. Oh, well, see, I took the whole thing off. Well, you didn't watch me being... Yeah, I, I, was, I was rushing along here. Okay. That really is just for looks, right? That's it. Nothing else. Mm-hmm. I'm going to add one more clove of garlic. Okay, two cloves of garlic. And you're just mashing that down with two forks, right? That's it. Same like waiters they're doing in the restaurant. They're making Caesar salad. Okay. okay. Okay, so let me see your job. Nice. This is okay. You pass the test. Pass the test. Okay. Okay. Now, so I wanna now what we're gonna do? We're gonna put a little bit of salt. Let's get this out of here. Oh. Okay, and just we're gonna add it. Garlic. <clears throat> so the shrimps will have the garlic flavor. And now, next thing we'll do, we're gonna wrap it up with bacon. So we'll do like this. Go from the top. Down to the bottom. Down to the bottom. Okay. Well, let me do another one. Another one. <clears throat> so it's very easy. But yeah, yeah, anybody could do it. Okay. If you can do it, anybody, anybody can, can do, do it. it. Right. I wonder if Ron can do it. I don't know. Ron's a pretty good cook. I know that. He is. Yeah. Remember that Christmas party? Nah, you don't remember that Christmas no. party. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> nah, you don't remember that Christmas party. <laughs> Well, I remember just the start at the beginning of the party. Yeah, forgot about the end, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what we're gonna do right now? We're gonna put the, the shoes on the pan. We're gonna nice saute them, okay? And both sides. Then we're gonna put for one minute or two to the oven. The shrimps go in the oven. Yeah, but first we have to saute. Okay. Both what are side. we gonna saute them in? Just like this, the Teflon. Pan. Oh, okay. Uh, no butter, no, no garlic. No, you don't have to. This is the whole thing. Is you okay. Have to. Okay. Okay. So let's have a commercial break. Okay. When we come back, we're still going to continue our... All right. Shrimps. Come back. You can learn to be a gourmet in a half hour, exactly. right? Exactly. And next thing we're going to do, we're going to make scallops with spinach. Spinach. Okay. And mushrooms. Sounds good. We'll be right back. Okay. Lot Polish Airlines has always been the leader in travel to Poland. Lot's tradition of excellence continues with its new service to Poland on the most comfortable, spacious, and highest quality aircraft in the skies today, the Boeing 767. Starting in June, Lot Polish Airlines commences non-stop service direct to Warsaw with its new fleet of 767s. Lot is the only airline providing regular non-stop service to and from Warsaw. On Lot's new fleet of planes, enjoy the comfort of wide, spacious aisles and seats, two complimentary meals, a full-length recent movie, music, and drinks, compliments of Lot Airlines. And because of the design of its new planes, Lot can provide its passengers with an increased baggage allowance. Traveling to Poland is better, easier, and more comfortable than ever on Lot Polish Airlines, the recognized leader in travel to Poland. And welcome back to Cooking with Chef Richard. You can see the shrimps and the Beautiful. bacon. Yeah, don't you see how look? I can't wait good. to eat it. Okay, so we're going to put just for one minute to the oven. To the Make oven. Make sure they are cooked all the way. Through. Okay. okay. Let's put this to the oven. And next dish we're going to do is we're going to saute spinach. Spinach. And I see garlic. you using fresh spinach, huh? Well, of course. Well, now, wait a minute. Now, what if somebody wants to use canned spinach? Can you use canned spinach? Well, you have, you have like somebody wants to dry rice, rice and, and pinto. The, the difference is, you know? Okay. So, so you suggest the fresh spinach? Yeah, fresh spinach. So what we're going to do, we're going to just put the leaves. I have a little bit of butter here. Because I'm going to use half of them because we don't want it too much okay. butter. Okay. And we're going to add garlic. Same thing, mash it up, huh? Yeah, that's it. Can you try it? Sure. But of course. 
<laughs> okay, it's yours. Ta da da da. Doing a fine job. Yeah, you missed one over here. Okay. All right. Now, what do you want to do with this? Dump right here. Do it the easy way. That's it. My hands are clean. Okay. And we're going to also add mushrooms. Got to add it mushrooms. Oh, that is amazing. You want to do it? No. <laughs> if I did that, you'd have a couple of fingers laying over <laughs> no. there somewhere. Yeah, believe me, you would. No, 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 no. <clears throat> Rough cut, huh? Rough cut, yeah. See, you like to see it. So we do right now. Going around. Okay. Looks the so now what, now what, are you, what are you looking for here? What, are, what well, I have to saute the spinach and the mushrooms together. Okay? okay, but now does the spinach change colors or will it always uh, not stay really? Green? Gonna no, be huh? green, maybe a little bit darker green. Uh huh. But with the uh, garlic and mushrooms, it's gonna get nice flavor. So what else we're gonna do is a little bit pepper, a little bit salt. Okay. You see? Mm -hmm. What's going on? And we're also going to add it a little bit of leeks. The leeks are going to give the flavor of the sharpest flavor. Okay? Only we're going to use this time white parts. Okay? The white part of the leek. Yeah. Can see. Now can you can you add that at the same time that you add the spinach and the mushrooms? Yes, or could you yes. Wait a little no, while? we can do, we can do so at the same time. Okay. Just see how nice it is. Mm -hmm. Okay. We're gonna make right now room for our scallops. Scallops. How much do you have there? This is like handful of scallops. This is good for one per, uh, one person or for now two. Are fresh or frozen? No, fresh. fresh. I, but of course, right? But of course. <laughs> See, the scallops, these are, uh, they are base scallops, and they can cook only for one minute and they're going to be ready. Okay, so see how fast we can become a gourmet? Mm -hmm. Really, in a half hour. <laughs> okay, this scallop, that's it. See, and the scallops are getting flavor also from the leeks, from the spinach, uh, spinach. mushroom, okay. garlic. Uh, since they are so small, we cannot uh, put together this, uh, the spinach, and I keep them cooking separate. Okay. So when we're going to make a nice demonstration, we're going to put on a plate, they're going to be separate from the spinach. Okay. Okay? So, I think so. Now we should have commercial break. All right. And we're going to make another dish. A roast pork tenderloin with mushrooms. Beautiful. How's that? I'm waiting. Okay. We'll be right back. to visit Poland has arrived. Come to Poland! We promise you will enjoy it! <laughs> Welcome, Welcome to, to our beautiful, beautiful country. country! For details about your trip to Poland, call your nearest traveler. And we're back with okay. Chef Richard in so the kitchen. So now we have nice uh, pork tenderloin. Pork tenderloin. So what we're going to do, we're going to roast with leeks, okay. onions, and mushrooms. And we're going to put uh, Nice. Uh, oh, we have to cut a little. Cut bit. a little bit of fat. Yeah, off. No, we don't want fat. Yeah, we're fat enough. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take this out. Okay, so we have salt, pepper, okay. Then we have uh, rosemary. You know rosemary? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Do you? <laughs> And oregano. oregano. Okay, a little bit of paprika. For the color, so it's going to be nice. Brown. Okay. Let's kind of roll it around. Mm -hmm. huh? Take all this. We're going to put it in the pan. Now, in a second, what we're going to do, we're going to chop a lot of leeks. The green part, too. Okay. okay. And white, yeah. Rough cut again, huh? Rough cut. 
What do you want? Mushrooms? Oh, mushrooms, of course, but of course, how could be without the mushrooms, right? Okay, keep. No. <laughs> uh. No, no, I'm gonna show you. Ah, right, you show you me. See? You hold like this mushroom. Yeah, okay. You put like this your finger behind. No, like see. Look. Okay. And cut it. Well, <laughs> I gotta go yeah. slow. I'm afraid. Okay, you are. Okay. <laughs> okay, then a little bit more. So what we're gonna do right now, we're browning, you see how nice, mm -hmm. and saute with the vegetables, uh, the pork uh, tenderloin. And you could also do with uh, veal tenderloin or even beef tenderloin. Depends on what your taste. Mm -hmm. Okay, so right now we're gonna put it in the oven. Okay. We're gonna take a commercial break. When you come back, what we're gonna do, I'm gonna show you how to decorate the plates with your shrimps and scallops and also zrazi, beef laden. Okay. So you become gourmet on the phone. All right. Sounds good. We'll be right back. Okay. Spreading Corporation processes orders placed in the United States for delivery in Poland, including major appliances. The Packa O catalog features many different brands of color television sets, which can receive programs in the West European and American systems. Packa O is also one of the few outlets for VCRs capable of playing or recording the American system. Packa O also carries both single and double audio cassette tape recorders from the finest Japanese manufacturers, as well as automobile radios and the finest hi-fi stereo equipment. All radio and stereo equipment is specially designed for use with the Polish high voltage electrical current and come with a full service guarantee. Information is gladly given and orders accepted by all authorized Packa O dealers and by the Packa O Trading Corporation with offices in New York and Chicago. In Chicago, you may contact Packa O at 333 North Michigan Avenue or call Packa O in Chicago at 782-3933. Okay, and we're back okay, with uh, Jeff Rashad. A little brandy, huh? Why not? Whoa. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> okay, looks like our shrimp's ready. Shrimps, okay. So oh, that looks nice like color. Okay, around the rice. Is that wild rice? No, this is the white rice. Right, okay. right. You can use wild rice too. And why don't you put some uh, strawberry around? So make strawberry. Oh, almost ready. Now what are you going to do? Yeah. Okay, we just put... Where do you want me to put them? Just anzrazi, any, anywhere? Anzrazi, anzrazi. Like over here somewhere? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Think like you're making right now dinner for your hot date. <laughs> it's hot in here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now you have to see the scallops with uh, spinach. Keep. Okay. So you just put my more strawberries? Way. Why not? Well, I'm just all over, it. all over. Watch all this. Over. Look at how fast <laughs> that was, huh? Okay. Uh, see this, how nice smell. Mm. Okay. Now, the pork tenderloin. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? We're going to slice like this, pieces. That looks good. Let's put this away, so. Put as a half moon Ooh. on the plate. Excuse me. Okay, you do the strawberries, yeah? Yeah. Okay, then we have our sauce ready. Now, you forgot to tell me, you put a little heavy cream in there. But too. of course. Whipping cream? Whipping cream, yeah. Okay. See what I put right now? The leeks and mushrooms on the side. And sauce over. So, looks like we did a good job there, yeah? Yeah, smells good too. Mm hmm. A little bit deal. Other side. That's it. That's it. And what are they? So, thank you very much. Chef, thank, thank you. you. And I wouldn't watch it all. No. Uh, yeah, anybody that I do a show, you I gotta get a pie, huh? I need that. Okay, you look good. <laughs> <laughs> Sharon will be back next week. That's it. And I have for you for a surprise too. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
We'll be back. He'll be back next yeah, week. Next week. Okay. So see you next week. All right. Bye bye. Introducing from Kit Parker Films, weighing in at 60 minutes of non-stop video cassette action, Wrestling Gold! They're all here, Randy Macho Man Savage, Jerry Lawler, The Rock and Roll Express, Nick Bockwinkle, The Road Warriors, The Von Erichs, Hulk Hogan, and much more. Order now and also receive a second action-packed volume. See Tully Blanchard, Rick Rude, Ernie Ladd. Dick the Bruiser, Bobby Heenan, Ted DiBiase, Bruno San Martino, and many more. You get two action videos for only $29.95 complete. Not sold in stores. Call our 24-hour hotline now. To order your two-volume set by credit card, call 1-800-331-1000 or send $29.95 plus $450 shipping and handling to Wrestling Gold, 5944 North Milwaukee Avenue, Chicago, Illinois, 60646. That's Wrestling Gold, 5944 North Milwaukee Avenue, Chicago, Illinois, 60646. Be sure to specify VHS or beta. The preceding program was a production of ETC, Ethnic Television Chicago, a video roadmap to the exciting world of ethnic America. You're tuned to WCW-TV Channel 25, What Chicago Watches. Hi there, and welcome to the Telescam Home Shopping Club, where you, the viewer, get the phone in and for some great merchandise without ever leaving your home. We like to call ourselves the Bloomingdale's of Broadcasting. Hi, my name is I Fleesum. We take all major credit cards and we have great video values, so let's get to item number one. Our first item is a lovely timepiece. It's unbelievable. It's 100% guaranteed to never need a repair job. Now I know you have problems uh, with, your, with your standard everyday watch, the main springs break or you have to go and get one of those quartz batteries. Well let me introduce you to the most amazing timepiece on the market today. Now keep in mind we only have 2,000 of these left. Here it is, the amazing rock clock. Can we get a close up of this please? Now what you do is just place this outside your window. When you can't see anymore, it's nighttime. Now I'll tell you, that's the Rock Clock lot number A4973BK117631. Now if you went, in any, went into any fine store, you'd have to pay for this $179.95. Our price here on the Telescam Home Shopping Club, only $16.95. Our phone number is 999-1653. Our operators are standing by, ready to take your call. Yes, sorry, it is a bell ringer, yes, and if you act right now, we're going to throw in something absolutely free, little extra gift at no charge, something for you cable viewers to clean your satellite dish with, this amazing satellite dish rag. Now, now call in now, the number is 999-6053. Now, folks, Mother's Day is just around the corner. And you're probably saying to yourself, what can I get my wife? What can I get my girlfriend? What can I get my mother? Well, we've got a real steal for you on jewelry. Now, you've seen our famous cubic zirconia rings, right? Well, right now, we're able to offer a ring that gives off more than a cubic foot of zirconia. I'm talking about the fabled 72 carat Hope Zirconia. Look at this sparkle on this beauty. You won't believe it. Now, it's fully, uh, it's fully cut. Uh, the more cuts, as they say professional jewelers say, it is fully faceted. Remember, the more cuts, the more sparkle. 
We have only 1,100 of these babies left. It's gorgeous. You men at home watching, this is the type of jewelry every woman wants. In fact, I know Elizabeth Taylor would be pool table green with envy. Okay, that's the Hope Zircoin, lot number C469368124D704. 704 d Now, if you walked into any fine jewelry store, such as J.B. Robinson's or Cartier, you might pay 325 bucks for a baby like this here. Our price for this 72 karat Hope Zircon, $53.95. And you know what the best thing about it is? It's large, but it's not gaudy. On top of it all, it comes with a lovely simulated velvet gift box. So get one of these for your mother. I just might get one of these for my mom. Oh, I hope she's not watching. <laughs> Tobie będzie, będziesz miał żoneczkę, a chleba nie będzie. Będziesz miał żoneczkę, a chleba nie będzie. Oj, nie życzę synu, bo będziesz żałował i jesteś za młody, to będziesz biedował. I jesteś za młody, to będziesz biedował. Jak jesz nic nie będzie, żonkę pocałuję. Jak jesz nic nie będzie, żonkę pocałuję. Jak nie będzie pracy, no to spać pójdzie mi. Jak nie będzie chleba, to się obejdzie mi. Jak nie będzie chleba, to czemu będziemy? Ożeniu za żywymi synecze na towarzysz się zmienił. Za żywymi synecze na towarzysz się zmienił. Żonkę ucałował, to było na danie, a zamiast obiadu było całowanie. A zamiast obiadu było całowanie. Lufthansa Airlines, the standard of excellence in travel to Europe. For your next trip to Poland, fly one of Lufthansa's spacious wide-body jets from Chicago. Even if you select one of Lufthansa's special cost-conscious fares to Poland, the service you receive from Lufthansa is only dreamed of on other airlines.
With one of the most modern fleets in the world, Lufthansa flies to 161 cities in 82 countries. Call your travel agent or Lufthansa at its toll-free number. Lufthansa is proud to be a major sponsor of ETC. We encourage you to watch these excellent programs brought to you by Lufthansa Airlines. ETC really does bring people home. Well, welcome back to the Telescam Home Shopping Club, and we've got a whole slew of bargains and values here this afternoon. Remember our phone number, 999-1653, 999-1653. We take all major credit cards. We take food stamps. We take it all. Remember that phone number, 999-1653. Now, the next item that's going to be available to you, you will not believe. People have been searching hard and wide, looking for something so decorative and so useful. It's useful year-round, and especially in October. Let me show you what I'm talking about, folks. It's the Ron Yashinsky Herbert Laughing Dart Board. Yes, here's what you do. You can play darts with it, put it in your basement, and if you get a bullseye, listen to what happens. And it, you know, <laughs> what do you have to do that? <laughs> Not only does it laugh, but it also plays music behind it. Yes, that's the Ron Yashinsky Herbert Laughing Dart Board. And when Halloween comes around, you want to you want to scare all the trick or treaters away. It detaches from the dartboard. They can hang it in your window. That's the Ron Yashinsky Herbert Laughing Dartboard, lot number R eight seven six seven five JT six four seven. Retail price one hundred and nine ninety five. You can't find these. We only got sixty thousand left, folks. Our price two dollars and ninety five cents here. <laughs> On the Home Scam Shopping Club, Telescam Shopping Club. Call us at 555-1653. Now wait till you see this next one. You know how many times you've had a cold during this past winter season? You got a handkerchief in your pocket, but it's a handkerchief like this. It's for show and not blowing. Now, for the person who has everything, the person with a cold, something useful, something fantastic. It's the Home, it's the Telescam Home Shopping Club. This is a real bell ringer, folks. Here it is, right here. The electric nose cleaner, lot number I94362PQ44A. Retail $96.95. Get ready for this, you won't believe it. Our price $12.99. That's the electric nose cleaner for the person who has everything. For the picky person in your family. Lot number I94362PQ. 44A, hurry, there's only 20 left at $12.99. Yeah, what's your mother issue for the shit? Yeah, what's your mother issue for the shit? What am What am Yeah, what's my issue for 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 Yeah, what's my issue for
יש בי מריש יהודה שניה, יש בי מריש יהודה שניה, כותב נשניה ויאנק זוסניה, יש בי מריש יהודה שניה, כותב נשניה ויאנק זוסניה, יש בי מריש יהודה שניה. comes alive in World War II Report, a two-volume video cassette collection of authentic, uncut combat action newsreel. Better than any book, World War II Report is an eyewitness account of the major events of global conflict as seen by the men who were there. Experience the drama of the Battle of Midway and of the Coral Sea, the fight for Rome, and the valiant battle for Iwo Jima. State-of-the-art, hi-fi computer enhancement captures the vivid action like you've never seen or heard it before. All in the traditional quantity you expect from Kit Parker Films. World War II report covers bombs over Europe, Yanks smash truck, the battle for Tunisia, and much more. Order this two-volume set now and also receive victory over Germany and Japan's surrender. World War II Report is truly a journey through history that you must own. Now is your chance to have 14 full newsreels, all put on two jam-packed video cassettes, each in a commemorative container, all for only $29.95 complete. Satisfaction guaranteed. Call our 24-hour hotline now. To order your two-volume set, call 1-800-642-6800 for credit card or COD orders, or save COD charges by sending $29.95 plus $3 shipping and handling to World War II Report, 5944 North Milwaukee Avenue, Chicago, Illinois, 60646. All right, and welcome back to the Telescam Home Shopping Club. Yes, and, uh, oh, I think my phone is ringing here. Hello, you're on. You're live on the air to tell us. Oh, 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 I got on the air. I don't find that on the air now. Hello, ma'am. Hello, ma'am. What's your name? What's your name, ma'am? Uh, Martha. Martha, where are you calling from? I'm calling from uh, Slowbroken, Pennsylvania. All right, let's hear it for Slowbroken. All right. Yeah, we gave you a toot. Oh, boy, I'm so excited. I can't <laughs> believe it. I've been trying to get on this show for 43 years. Well, you finally made it. Welcome to the Telescam. Do you like all the wonderful values that we bring you here in the Telescam oh, Shopping yeah. Club? I had one of those Lyconian rings. Yes. It was wonderful. Uh-huh. But you know. Tell me. I want you to. I lost all my credit cards. You lost all your credit cards. Okay. <laughs> all right. Well, folks, has your pet ever run away from home? His ID tag might have fell off, and you never saw him again. Well, it's happened to me. You lose a pet, you never forget. Well, folks, this never has to happen again because, folks, Blacksmith Industries has come out with a permanent ID system for your beloved animal. I'm talking about the domestic branding iron kit right here. Here it is. That's right. Now, we only have 60 of these left, so get on the horn right away, and they'll customize it to your dog's name. Now, what happens here is you open this up. And you get 
It comes with uh, equipped with uh, brandings for your for your dog. Here's one for Spot. Here's another one for Rover. And then if you got a cat, here's one for Tabby. And then plus, there's a waterproof plastic iron if you own a fish. The lot number is B92763B7S4748. Now, folks, I didn't want to tell you what you'd have to pay for this if you went into a pet store. You wouldn't believe it. $38.95, but not here in the Telescam. $19.95. <laughs> That's all you pay and it comes with easy to follow instructions. This is a simple procedure you can perform in seven or eight hours on the top of an ironing board in your kitchen. Well, the kids are crying. The young girls all are sighing They're looking for a polka dance tonight So grab your little missus There's no more time to kisses My band is here to entertain you right Come on in and smile Be sure to stay a while And dance, sing and polka while we're on We're the band part singing And we're glad you came to All right, welcome back to the Telescam Home Shopping Network. Now, ladies and gentlemen, you won't believe this next item we have. You know, I don't know how you folks feel about uh, when you get up in the morning, but I get up kind of grumpy, and I really don't get going till I have a glass of freshly squeezed orange juice. You know, the old American classic, well, another American classic, if you think about it, was Laurel and Hardy, right? Well, we offer to you today, it's a new item that combines the two. Remember about a month ago, we had the folks that produced the Berry, Manimal, Berry Manilow liquid soap dispenser that was brought to you by schnoz industries the nose pros now folks let me show you what we've got here it's the stan laurel orange juice squeezer let me give you the lot number to start out with it's p46892 xp29j retail price on this beautiful recreation recreation is 48.95 just like uh, stan laurel is in your home he's recreated now here's what happens you take the orange and you squeeze it on Stan Laurel's head just like this and it comes out his nose. Can you get a shot of that? Look at how beautiful that is. Beautiful. All right, there it is. It's uh, uh, lot number P46892XP29J 
only 1995. The PECA-O Trading Corporation, now in its 40th year of service to Polonia. PECA-O continues to transfer dollars to Poland from the United States to the credit of any Polish bank account you direct. PECA-O also delivers to your family member or friend in Poland a wide variety of parcels, including citrus fruits, medicines, nutrients for babies and young children, cosmetics for both men and women, as well as detergents and audio and video equipment, including multi-system Panasonic television sets or Atari computers. PECA-O can also fulfill orders for washing machines, refrigerators, oil-operated radiators and heaters, gas or electric ranges, nearly any household item, Polish and foreign cars, even agricultural tools and machinery can be purchased through PECA-O and delivered in Poland. For 40 years, PECA-O has always provided the highest quality in merchandise most needed in Poland. Information is gladly given and orders accepted by all authorized PECA-O dealers and by the PECA-O Trading Corporation with offices in New York and Chicago. In Chicago, you may contact PECA-O by mail at 333 North Michigan Avenue or call PECA-O at 782-3933. Another bell ringer coming up for you here on the Telescam Home Shopping Network. You know, does your husband make unpleasant noises in bed? How about your wife? How about your pet? Well, we've got something that's designed for the person who makes those unpleasant noises in beds. In bed. <laughs> Maybe you've just gone out and eaten 26 burritos or something. Well, here it is, something new to our Telescam Network here. It's the... Gas horn. Yes, it's lot number A674122 2GAS64P. 
Now here it is right here. The retail on this beauty is $66.44. Our price. Get ready for this.